I'm going to tie a string around my finger. Good. Eric, don't you dare miss your bus again. It wasn't my fault last time. I do like to chit chat, chit chat, chit chat to yourself. Do you try to play those Hey, you see my bag? I mean, my bag. What you need is a brain. Have a party. Turning 17 doesn't mean anything. You're crazy. A party means presents, money, bling. If your dad had moved out three months ago, you wouldn't want to party either. Hey, you know that's not it. I don't care about that. I think we should do what you did for your 11th birthday party. We just got our nails done. And the smell was so bad, we all got sick, remember? I'm pretty sure Julie Bryson even threw up. Did you hear Julie's pregnant? What? Wait, how would you know? She moved to Florida. Clicksters, hello. Oh, of course. So what was it you said the other day in health that got Lindsay so pissed off? Nothing. I just said I think it's better to wait till you're 18 before you go all the way. <laughs> She's been doing it since ninth grade. So you basically called her a slut. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was a class discussion. I wasn't even talking about her. My brother wears shoes like that. <laughs> He's 10. <laughs> I just love high school. So great. Ooh, best years what? of our lives. Amazing. <laughs> Uh, definition of contrarian? Me. Definition of lazy? You. Do your own homework. Forget you. Taylor, you're a brainiac. You should know. Let's have it. I owe the definition of lust. When I look at him, my throat swells up. You do know that Scott is just a dumb jock, right? No, he's not. Okay, so, if you were on Clickstars, then you could send him a hot meter quiz and find out if he likes oh, you. Stop, that is so sixth grade. And plus, even if I wanted to, I couldn't. My mom, like, stands over my shoulder the whole time. <laughs> she has computer monitoring software. She goes on all the sites I've been on. There's no way. See you later. Bye. Bye. Her mom is so backwards. She can't even have internet on her phone. Oh, how does she live? On this day in history, the great bard William Shakespeare took his first breath in 1564. The very first motion picture was shown in 1896. Theodore Roosevelt delivered his Man in the Arena speech in 1910. Also on this day in history, just a little closer to home, Taylor Hillridge was born. Happy birthday, Taylor. Yay. Happy birthday. Today's my dad's birthday, too. Cool. All right, class, if you would open your books to unit 11, page 773. We'll look at turbulent time. I swear, when you touched my shoulder, there was, like, electricity. Oh, please. No, I'm serious. I felt a tingle. Hey, do you think you'd ask me to the spring fling? No. Why? Scott Ozick is not the romantic type. He's a basketball player on the same team as Charlie. Okay, he is not like Charlie. He is exactly like Charlie. And I would know because I hung out with them. Yeah, once. Yeah. Charlie hooked up with me, he got what he wanted, and he never spoke to me ever again. I know, I'm sorry. I know how much that sucked. 
He's not like Charlie. He is exactly like Charlie. And it's stupid for you to lose your head over something silly like this. Okay, remember, it was your dad that left you guys for a 25-year-old girl. If that doesn't tell you how scummy guys hey, are. leave my dad out of it, okay? <laughs> Thank you. My own computer? Oh, lucky. Wait, hang on. No, there has to be a catch. Like, uh, I can only use it in the kitchen. I can't use it after one. Or you have to share it with me. No, stop. There's no catch. It's all yours, private. You can use it wherever you want if you follow my rules. No inappropriate sites and no giving out personal information. I know the rules, but still, you're trusting me? Are you feeling okay? <laughs> you're funny. Look, I know you think I'm overprotective, but I think the word is responsible. Yeah, try suffocating. I'm gonna let that one slide, birthday girl. Look, you want to be a journalist, and I want you to be able to write to your heart's content. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. Thank you, I gotta go hook it up. I'll come help. You touch, you die. Do you know if your father called Taylor today? Don't think so. Well, she told him she didn't want to speak to him ever again, so... Okay. What is my favorite body part? I have to answer these questions on my profile. Just say eyes. Everybody says eyes. I said butt. <laughs> well, you can get away with it because everybody knows you are all talk and no action. I'm putting eyes. Shut up. <laughs> Wait, hang on. What kind of underwear am I wearing right now? Oh, my God. No, you just say pink. Oh, everybody says pink. I said black. You do not own black underwear. Black? <laughs> Seriously, what's the point of answering these questions if they're all untrue? Fine. Tell everybody about your virginal white undies. They're not all white. Oh, no, but you're not going to get cute guys talking to you. You'd be surprised how many guys ask me about my black underwear. Oh, what? Now you get uh, it. Okay, uh, all yeah, right, okay. But I'm not putting black. Or white. I'll, I'll put blue. I'll put blue. That's, that's good. What is that? It just beeped. Uh, friend request. Click there. Okay. <gasps> it's Scott. Okay, now when you post your answer, he'll be picturing you in your underwear. Hi, friend Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay commented on our photo. Oh, Lindsay. Hang on. Ugh. That's not very nice. I don't even know which one I'm supposed to be, Lardo or Dogface. I guess I'll be Dogface. Well, what if I want to be Dogface? Well, fine, then I'm Lardo. Could always lose a little bit of weight. You, however, will always look like a dog. <laughs> Maybe it was a Freudian slip. Uh, you know, maybe you don't like history, so you accidentally drop your book. Get it? I don't know, I like history. Oh, me too. Oh. It's my favorite. Caleb's kind of a weird dude, huh? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so I saw you on Clicksters now. I like it better than Facebook, a lot more raw, you know? Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> so maybe I'll talk to you on there tonight? Uh, yeah, you mean like instant message or something? Yeah, there's actually a chat room just for the school. I hang out there sometimes when I'm bored. People talk trash. It's kind of funny, so. <laughs> okay, I'll look for it. Cool. Okay.
what, now I'm a loser? Lindsay Love online. Yes. It's such a big contradiction. Does she have like bionic oh hearing God. or something? Or what? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Taylor, hey. Hi. <laughs> um, so I was actually reading your page last night, and oh. you're a really good writer. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> but um, I do think you need a few more pictures, though. Maybe a bikini shot or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll think about it. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bikini shot? Come on! He was joking. You are so naive. I can think of at least two girls he's hooked up with in the past month. Uh, if you count just kissing, then I can think of three girls. What? He's popular. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Don't tear Drop me off first. <laughs> Why? We always go to the mall on Friday. I want to go home and see if Scott goes online. <laughs> okay, you're now officially pathetic. Come on. I think it's cute. What if we in love? It's not love! I, I'm sorry, but waiting for a guy to type, hey, baby, send me a bikini shot, is not love. Well, then what is? Sleeping with a guy the second time you guys go out and then wondering why he never talks to you again? Get out. What? You can't be serious. Out. Yeah, I know. It's fine. She'll be all right tomorrow. Besides, it was totally worth it. Scott talked to me for like half an hour. He sent me 13 messages. Wow. You think he likes you? I don't know. Probably not. You know he talks to a lot of girls. Oh, hang on. Maybe this is him. <clears throat> huh. No, it's a friend request from some guy named James. Whoa, Cheyenne, this guy's like totally gorgeous says he's 17 and he goes to Ridgeway. Oh, my cousin goes there. Whoa, listen to this. Read your poem about hiking Mount Rainer, was there last summer, and felt like the wind was talking to me, too. Heard its voice in my soul, just like you said. Made me wonder if talking to you would be the same kind of thing. So he has a brain. Yeah, and a soul. <laughs> Shard and back? Um, if you don't, I will. Eric, it's your turn. What'd you learn today? Stuff. Like? Dad's in California. You talk to him? Yeah, he called me. Maybe call me. I'm a naughty bad girl, someone should spank me? Well, someone has a sick sense of humor. You gotta change this, you gotta change your password. No one should look at this. Okay. <laughs> no. Who do 
you think changed your status? Who knew your past? I don't know. I don't know. I made Samantha and Shay and look away when I set it up. Oh, Taylor, I've looked around this website. It's completely inappropriate for someone your age. There are no boundaries. You need to shut down your Come profile. Come on. Look at you. You're in tears after one day. Just shut it down. It's not worth it. Honey, it's not worth it. in a pissy mood? Just shut up and come over. You put what happened on your status, right? And then you change your password, not to something easy like your birthday. Right? Yeah, no, it wasn't my birthday before or like anything anyone could have guessed. God, all those things people were saying about me. How am I gonna face going to school on Monday? Don't be a wuss. You can't take that stuff seriously. Besides, nobody's even gonna remember by Monday. Hey, one good thing did happen on Clickstars today. I talked to this guy named James. What? No, you, you should have seen what he wrote me. It was, like, really smart and funny. Let's not talk about boys. You can run a movie. You can sleep over. Okay, fine. What's going on? Eric. Tell her. Me and my friend Cooper were the ones who changed the status on your profile. What? Look, use the old cat's name for your Man, password. I'm killing you! What? Taylor, come back here, please. I can't believe you did that to me. Taylor. Look it, I am really upset with him, too. I've grounded him for a month. But I'm really upset with you, too. What did I do? I looked to see if you took down your profile. Okay, I never said I'd do that. Well, on your page, you posted a comment and called someone a bitch. Whoa, now you're spying on me? Taylor, when you put something online, it's no longer private. Everyone can see it, and you know my rule. You can't use the internet to be insulting or call anyone names. Well, what about what they called me? I know it's terrible, but that's no excuse to be ugly to someone online or anywhere. Hey, fine. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Just make sure you won't do it again. I'm taking away your laptop. Oh, come on. Going on the internet means responsibility and consequences. You'll get it back in three days. Wonderful. Eric! Taylor, behave yourself. I you can't believe your own brother would do something like that to you. Yeah. Like, it's disgusting. I'm never it's going to forgive him. <laughs> I told him I'm not going to your graduation. I'm not going to your wedding. I might go to your funeral. <laughs> That's very dramatic. Damn. Hey, Hill actually came to school today. I owe you five bucks. <laughs> What's your problem? Oh, I don't have a problem. You do. Little miss, I'd never go all the way. Such a hypocrite. How many guys did you hook up with this weekend? 10? 20? <laughs> you should have a drive through <laughs> You said everyone was going to forget it by Monday. Okay, people have been posting really stupid stuff on your page all what? weekend. I mean, they were just, they're saying you sleep around. Why didn't you tell me? Well, Samantha didn't want to freak you out, and you... I honestly thought it would die down by now. Well, I have to see it. Give me your phone. I have to see what's going on. No, you don't have to see it right now. Yeah, I have to see it right now. If everyone's seen it, that means Scott has seen it. Please, can I use your phone? No, Taylor, I'm not going to give you my phone. what people were saying about you online. 
I don't know why they have to do that. It sucks. How would you know? Are you serious? You've been called a slut and a whore, really. I guess you've never been on my page. There's fairy, fruit, homo, two gay to live. Yeah, but I mean, it's not really the same thing. I mean, you really are gay. What they're saying about me isn't true. You really don't get how messed up it is. You smell weird. That's what skanks smell like. What, like puke? <laughs> Jealous much? She's smarter than you. And why doesn't she know she's a loser? And then James wrote, hate or suck, the girl is more cool than you. He defended me. He's a gentleman. Uh, I'm gonna write him back and say thank you. Ask him if he knows my cousin. Your room. You're really gonna be a prisoner in there for a month? Yeah, she is. Taylor. Honey, you really need to go to your room. Dad would have never let you ground me for something this stupid. I get my laptop back tomorrow, right? Yeah. You gonna take your profile down? Are you saying I have no choice? No, I'm saying I'm trusting you to make the right choice. Well, who says that's the right choice? You know, everyone at my school is on that site. I was just having fun. It was Eric who messed it all up for me. You know, I wish you wouldn't fake trust me. I wish you would just actually do it. It's the seedy underbelly of the underworld. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not gonna let it bother me. You know, I don't care what they think. That's what James told her last night. Let her borrow my phone. Look what he said. Even though we've never met, I feel like I know you. You make me melt. Is this guy for real? I can't believe I'm actually encouraging this. Yeah. Why are you encouraging this? Mm. I think it's good for you to see the difference between a guy that is genuinely nice to you and a guy that just wants to hook up with you. Whoa, wait. You don't like Scott anymore? Ugh, like that was never gonna happen. Why not? I'm 13 messages. It's a lot of messages. Well, yeah, but Scott was like this fantasy guy that might like me if I was different. But James likes me for the right way. No, I just want to get my computer back so I can ride him fast. See, that sounds like love. It might be. <laughs> oh, I need ketchup. Hang on. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. I was just going to get ketchup. Oh, me too. I was actually going to come look for you after lunch. You are? Yeah, I heard somebody hacked your profile. It happened to me once. It yeah. sucked really bad. My brother did it. That's what's even worse. Oh, man, your brother? Yeah. Really? You think I should have a child for me? I'll just him out, or...? <laughs> Please, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I was I was going to come find you. I kind of wanted to see if you might want to go to the spring for the dance with me. You're asking me to the dance? I, I mean, if you're already going with someone, that's totally cool. Oh, I just... no. Oh. I mean, yes. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm not going with anyone, and yes, I will go with you. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Uh, cool. Well, why don't you send me a message? Give me your number or something. Okay. Sure. Okay. Why did you tell him you weren't going with anyone? The three of us were going to go together. Mom, why can't you just be happy for her? Yeah, I'd be happy for you if someone you liked us, yeah? A minute ago, you liked James. I don't know if I would like him in real life, you know? I've never met him. Ketchup? Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> you want to know about Scott? Charlie told him about some stuff he and I did. And you know what Scott did? He laughed. You're going to get hurt, Taylor. 
I mean, just because you got dumped doesn't mean I will. Thanks. Your father called? Uh, no. Sorry, bad question. Why are you so excited? Scott Ozick asked me to the spring fling. That's wonderful, sweetheart. So can I have my laptop back now? Okay, fine. What are you guys doing? Cheyenne made me drive her. You haven't seen it yet? No, what? Your wall? No, I just got my computer back. What, did Lindsay post more stuff? Um, not Lindsay. That James guy you thought was so nice. <laughs> He's saying he slept with you. That you gave him an STD. with me or got an STD for me. I never even met him. I'm so sorry. I knew it. I told my cousin to look at James's profile and see if she recognized him. She says there's no such guy at Ridgeway. Maybe she's just never met him. There's like 300 people in that entire school. She'd recognize him if he went there. What, so he's fake? Well, he's full of crap, so yeah, he's fake. I bet you 100 bucks someone just put up that fake profile. Oh, Lindsay. Yeah, Lindsay would totally do something like that. Oh, God. All the stuff that I told him. I told him my dad cheated on my mom. Like, all kinds of personal stuff. What if he posts it? Almost dinner. Time to go soon, girls, okay? Thanks. No. No, I'm not going to tell her. No, I just got my laptop back. Want to try? No, it might look slutty. Is that why you're wearing all those baggy clothes? Did you see what people were saying about me last night? Taylor, you're not even in the neighborhood of being a slut. And you wrote on your status that you never slept with James. I don't understand what I did wrong. Dang. <laughs> Should have brought the disinfectant. Don't want to use these sinks after the skank patrol. <laughs> <laughs> Calling me a skank now, too. Yeah, I know. It sucks. No, I've never been called a name at school ever. Well, you know what they say sticks and stones may break your Don't bones. Don't you dare make a joke about this. Don't you dare. Just stop following me, okay? She blames me for what Lindsay said. I'll go talk to her. Hey. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing. Look, I, I know that a lot of people are saying stuff about me online. There's stuff that's totally not true. And I guess I just want to make sure... It's not a big deal. Well, it kind of is. Um, it's really gross stuff. And, <laughs> look, I haven't slept with anybody or anything. And I, I'm... I'll see you in history.
It's amazing, so amazing how I survive this road. Feel the fever, I can feel it down inside my soul, and I. friend everywhere except in school? Look, I don't know what you expect. None of this is my fault. Yeah, well, Samantha's standing by me. Why can't you? Well, why can't you just not flirt with people that you don't know? <laughs> you didn't have to talk to that James guy. So you think all this is my fault? Well, you called Lindsay a bitch online. Of course she was going to come after you. I, I don't know. Are you aware of what's been happening with Taylor? Show me your Clickster's page now. shut this down when I asked you to? And why would you subject yourself to this? Shut it down, Taylor. You have no choice anymore. <laughs> oh, look, Mom, are you coming? I'm so popular. Now, this one's from Lindsay Love. She's my favorite. And she says that James told her I took all my clothes off for five bucks. Did you change your mind about going to school? You said I could have one day to stay home. I just don't want you to get into the habit of avoiding your problems. Sometimes the best thing is to face things head on, don't you think? Maybe you should just walk into your school with your head high and tell those kids they shouldn't believe everything they see on the internet. Yeah, that's gonna be a big help. I'm gonna stop by your school and talk to your principal. Great. Please, leave a message. Hey, Dad, it's me, Taylor. Um, I know you probably didn't pick up because you think I'm so mad at you, but, um, 
Look, I take back what I say about never wanting to speak to you again. Uh, you... I just feel so alone right now, and I don't know if you care or not, but, um... Just call me back. You preach into the choir. I know bullying over the internet is a problem. It's giving me a headache. I still can't figure out what to do about it. Well, why wouldn't you treat a cyberbully like any other bully? Oh, I can't control the internet or what students do on their own computers at home. And this kind of bullying, well, it happens uh, using anonymous usernames. You can't tell who's who and who started what. But the kids know who's who. They can tell you. Well, maybe, but... Unless I can get the school board to give me some guidelines that uh, allows me to compel them to do so. We must have some kind of policy. A vague one. Created by insurance companies to protect the school from liability. Half the time I don't know where I stand legally. I keep asking the school board to give me some policies that has some teeth that I can use to bite down on these kids. But... I promised my mama wouldn't go on clicksters on my computer. Can I use yours? Sure. <laughs> now they're saying I miss school because I'm pregnant and I'm some kind of prostitute. Nobody believes that stuff. God, maybe Cheyenne was right. I was asking for it. And Cheyenne's stupid. No, I told her that personal stuff to James. <laughs> I didn't even know him. Taylor, this is really hard. Okay, you know, Scott reads that stuff. I mean, what if he believes it? What if he thinks I'm pregnant? Wait, that's... That's what you're worried about right now, Scott? Yeah, yeah, I'm worried about Scott. <sighs> Who cares what he thinks, Taylor? Where has Scott been? Nowhere. And you even said yourself, he's been ignoring you. Now all of a sudden you care what he thinks? He stopped yelling at me. And I can't take it if you're against me too. I'm sorry. So sorry, Taylor. None of this should have happened. Uh, maybe we should forget school today. Y you want to ditch? I'll, I'll ditch with you. No, I want to talk to Scott. Of course. Look, you should just get Scott to give you a ride home, too, because I'm done trying to be your friend. Have a nice life, Taylor. Talked to you in a while. Um, I was just wondering if we were still going to the dance tonight. Um, listen, Taylor. My mom pissed me off last night and said I have to go with Marty Fox. Her mom's best friends with my mom, and yeah. So you're taking Marty? I'm sorry. It's not exactly my choice, but I don't know what else to do. Yes. Oh, she's crying. She must have seen. 
seen the video. <laughs> Everyone's seen it. 500 views last time I checked. You guys have all seen it, right? Um, <laughs> is it <hysterical>? <laughs> What video? Just wait till you see it. <laughs> Stack me up or crumble and drift along. I am just another nothing. Line me up or fall. I'm the real Taylor Hillridge. Ouch. Get the 
phone, Taylor. Pick up the phone, Taylor. Taylor? This is Chris. It's Samantha. I think something's wrong with Taylor. She posted a video online, and now she's not answering the phone, and I'm really freaking out. Uh, Samantha, slow down. I can't understand you. I think she's trying to kill herself. Oh, my God. I know, I'm grounded. Taylor! 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 Taylor? You're awake. You okay? Yeah. I feel funny. I'm sleepy. That's the sedative. It's starting to wear off. Hey, Sammy. I'm okay. Tell you she was so depressed? I, I, I don't know, maybe. I mean, did this happen because this James kid turned on her? Do you know who he is? Um, Taylor found out that he wasn't real. What does that mean? Someone <laughs> posed as James to torture her? Um, I, I gotta go. My mom's gonna be worried. Um, Taylor, call me whenever. <laughs> I've talked to Taylor, and I'd like to keep her overnight. Make sure she's stable. You can take her home in the morning, but you'll have to keep a sharp eye on her. I'm keeping her out of school for the next week, and I'm taking a week off of work. Good. If she starts talking about harming herself again, call me. This is an appointment card for her next one-on-one -on -one session with me. And this is a teen support group I run. It meets twice a week. We talk about assertiveness, bullying, other things. I think it might help her. And finally, prescription for a mild tranquilizer. One tablet every six hours for the next few days or until you feel her mood is evened out. It'll make her want to sleep, but that's a good thing. I'm doing such a great job on my own. Taylor mentioned your divorce. I'm sure that's a factor, but being bullied online, that can push a kid over the edge. It's like a group assault, very traumatic. Anyone with a computer can see it. It's always there, 24-7. Makes the victim feel even more trapped unable to escape from it. I almost lost her.
Check in on Taylor every 10 minutes and call me if she wakes up. Okay. Eric, I'm serious. I didn't unground you so that you could play video games all day. You have to keep an eye on your sister. Mom, I don't want anything to happen to her either. Thank you. Look, I'll be back in an hour. Oh, and your dad might call. He left a message on Taylor's cell. Just don't say anything. I haven't figured out what I'm going to tell him. Okay. Where are you going? I'm going to find out who that James is. You're such an ass, Scott. Such an ass. Thank you for letting me come over. And I'm really sorry Taylor's having such a hard time. You know, the way they were all ganging up on her. It's pretty rough stuff. It's gone. James's profile, it was here yesterday, and now it's deleted. Ugh, I should have printed it out when I had the chance. Does Taylor hate me? Of course not, Cheyenne. Do you think that this James person could be a fake? Well, his profile says that he goes to Ridgeway, and he doesn't. Do you have any idea who could have created this profile? Can I help you? Uh, Mr. Fortis? Lindsay's father? Yes, I am. What's this about? Well, your daughter and my daughter, they go to school together, and I was just wondering if I could speak to you and your wife about some things that have been happening. My wife passed away a few years ago, so you'll have to deal with me. I heard my name. Um, I'm Taylor's mother, and I was just wondering if you created a fake profile online. What? No. Lindsay, go back inside. You and your friends have been harassing my daughter for weeks now. My daughter tried to commit suicide because your daughter was bullying her. You should know that you're speaking with an attorney before you slander my daughter. It's not slander, it's fact. I have posts from Lindsay Love, your daughter, mocking Taylor. If my daughter expressed her opinion about anything... Demeaning, insulting opinions... That's her right. At least according to the Constitution. Excuse me? You're going to defend her? It's called freedom of speech. It's the First Amendment. You might want to give it a read. Why are you staring at me? Mom said I have to call her when you wake up. No, you don't have to call her. But you do have to get me that water over there. being an only child. No, I wouldn't. If you hadn't put that video up, oh. I could have been the one finding you all dead in the bathroom, you know? Oh, God, I bet they're saying all kinds of things about me. Eric, go get the laptop. I have to see what they're saying. Fine, I'll get it. No, it's fine. I got it. I got it.
I don't know why you're making me do this. This isn't a punishment, Taylor. It's a support group, a place for you to go to help you talk about what you've been through. I don't want to talk about it. Then don't talk about it. Just go and listen. We can't pretend that this didn't happen. It happened, and you need help. And there is nothing wrong with asking for help. It's really hard to see you in this much pain. And I am scared that you're going to try this again. You've put so much into your life. Your life is so precious. Please. Fine, okay, I'm going. out what some of these kids are saying to my daughter. They're calling her terrible names and saying she has STDs. Has she been physically threatened? Physical threat I could do something about. They're calling her dirty and saying that she's sleeping with boys for money. Isn't that harassment? Oh, if they said it to her face, yes. But online, there's no law against that in this state. Other states have laws that are particular to the internet, but not this one. But how can that be? I'm trying to get help from my daughter. I've gone to the school, I've gone to the school board, and door after door keeps getting slammed in my face. It's not that I don't want to help you, but unless a law is broken, I can only enforce the laws. I can't write them. In elementary school, it's like, hey, there goes Jelly Donut, you know, stuff like that, and it sucked, right? But at least I could go home and get some peace. Now it's like I can't even post pictures on my own profile because people want to be telling me how fat or disgusting I am. This stuff follows me home. I hate that. But the worst is when people resend stuff you said to them. There was this guy I liked. I thought he liked me. He really didn't. But I told him personal stuff, and he sent it to a bunch of people. And now at school, there's this bunch of guys, and they act out the stuff I said right in front of me. They call it the gay boys show. No, wait, that's not the worst. You were right. The worst is when it goes home with you. And they pile on and pile on, and you think, I don't even know who that person is. How can he say he despises that I exist? Caleb, I'm really sorry. Now, you told me people were picking on you, and I didn't say anything, and I'm really sorry. Well, you should post crap about those guys, too. And that's what I'd do. It's not about getting mad. It's getting even. Well, that's one option. Become the bully yourself. Right? How many of you have ever decided to get even? Posted mean comments online about someone you felt was being mean to you? No one else? Never called someone a name online or said they were stupid or ugly? I called Lindsay Fortis a bitch.
Thank you. Scott! Hey. You must be feeling really happy with yourself. Is your ego all puffed up and feeling good? Excuse me? I'm Taylor's best friend. I was sitting there when you invited her to the spring fling. So you're gonna blame me because she had some sort of mondo meltdown? Like you even care about her. Wait. Wait. So is she doing okay? Give me a break, Scott. I'm serious. I want to know. I actually really did like her. Right. You don't give a crap, do you? You just think I'm an ass, which... is probably true. So why don't you tell me, huh? What's it like to be so perfect that you don't have to feel bad about anything? Yeah, I got your message. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I saved the one where you said you started to call like 50 times on my birthday. I should have just called. You know I care about you a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I know you care. I do. Really? Well, I'll, I'll see you in a few weeks then. Okay, honey. Okay. Hey, Dad, wait. Thanks for calling. I'm really glad I did. Bye. Bye. You don't want it? I don't know. They made me so sleepy, I kind of want to wake up. Dr. Reiki said you can stop when you feel better. <sighs> You've been so nice to me. I never used to think you were nice. What? I don't know. I, I guess I just always thought you were so strict and overprotective and mean. And here I thought you adored me. Well, that too. <laughs> You're in a funny mood. I don't know, I, I just felt so alone, you know? When all those people started saying stuff about me, I felt like such a freak. Like I was the only one. Like, there had to be something wrong with me for them to do that. But today I found out this happens to a lot of people, like these really normal people. I don't know, I wish I'd known that. I wish I'd known you weren't against me. Oh, Taylor. I should have talked to you. I don't know why I didn't. I'm sorry. I, sh I should have talked to you. I made it hard to talk to me. I was so busy telling you what to do that I wasn't listening to how you felt. I'm sorry you thought that I was against you. I would never be against you. I know. I love you so much. I love you. I'm glad I'm not dead. Was that my phone? Oh, it's in my purse. Oh, it's Samantha. you're gonna hate me after I tell you this? You're scaring me. I don't know how to tell you this, so I'm just gonna say it. I'm the one who created the James profile. I pretended to be him. I talked to you. I told everybody you gave him an STD. I know you're lying. You wouldn't do that. I did. I really wish I hadn't, but I did. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Taylor.
What is it? What's going on? <laughs> Did something really bad, Mom? A word? <laughs> and now everybody knows. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm feeling better, but I haven't been going to school. And I know I'll eventually have to go back and face everyone, and that scares me. Hey, if I can do it, you can do it. Yeah, but I feel like I can't go back until I go online, and I don't know if I can handle that. I think it's gonna be bad. It's okay. <laughs> it is gonna get better, okay? Thank you. This seems like a good time to talk about how to handle it when you run into unpleasant comments about you online. You mean besides getting even and going all bully on them? Which only adds fuel to the fire makes everything worse. I just fall apart. It's fine to fall apart for a little while. It's fine to acknowledge that it hurts. But there are things that you can do, things that you should do. Like print out everything? Yes. You see something negative about you, print it out. Save the evidence. What else? Block them. You know, block the sender. You know, or the name you don't want to see what crap they're saying about you. It took me for damn ever to figure that out. God, I never thought of that. There's one more thing you can do, probably the most important thing. Anyone? Speak up, man. Tell someone. Exactly. Tell who? Your mom? I mean, my mom kind of knew, although I did kind of hide it from her. Well, sure. Start with your parents, but don't stop there. Your favorite teacher, your principal, I don't know. You can also report it to the bully's internet service provider. Sometimes they'll shut down the bully's account. You're kidding. Cyber bullies keep going because they think no one will do anything about it. But if you call attention to it, there's a chance you can stop it from spiraling out of control. Yeah, but you can't totally stop it. Don't know unless you try. Don't hide behind your fear. Do what it takes to stand up for yourself and for each other. into it and most states have passed laws against harassment on the internet you remember tina meyer her daughter committed suicide i remember that uh, tragic after tragic. that missouri passed a law i mean do we have to wait for somebody to die first couldn't you introduce a bill i, I don't want to try to legislate the internet I, I don't go online myself if i can help it my staff does that for me but these kids are on the internet all the time and they're vulnerable to these bullies who are hiding behind anonymous usernames yes well no one's making them go online now are they Excuse me? Well, they do have delete buttons on computers. I thought that too until I almost lost my daughter. You can't keep these kids off the internet. It's their world. And if you can't understand that, maybe there's somebody on your staff who could help me. I can't allocate man hours to that in the middle of a budget wrangle. Why don't you try me again next session? Thanks so much for coming in. I think it's weird that I came here. I don't know if it is or not. Why are you here? 
Because if it's about the dance... No, it's just... not about the dance. Okay, well, I'm sorry anyway for ditching you like that. It's okay. Thanks. Look, I'm here because... I just want to know if... Did you see the video that I posted? Well, yeah. Everyone saw it. Yeah. I just want to make sure you know that that was not because... Because of me? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I thought that at first, and it was, like, too much. It freaked me out. Oh, my God, no, it was not because know, of you. I know, Even my mom was like, dude, check your ego. There's a lot more going on here. Yeah. There was a lot going on. All that crap coming down on you online. Yeah, it was really bad. I see that kind of thing happen all the time, and I never say anything. And then I saw it happen to you, and it made me feel sick. But I still didn't say anything, and I really wanted to. I just, I don't know. I'm really sorry that it got so bad for you. That's really nice to hear. Thank you. Yeah, well, it's wrong. What Lindsay and her stupid friends were doing to you, it's not right that they get away with it. give up on trying to get a law passed. Well, we can always try and find a new senator. No, I want to try something else. Dr. Roki says we have to call attention to it, so I want to call attention to it. Are you sure that's what you want to do? Someone's got to do something about this. Yeah, JPEG will do. Uh huh? Yeah, just email it to me. Okay. Thanks. Sorry, I spend more time chasing photos than I do writing the story. Okay, so where were we? We were talking about how um, kids are getting hurt and adults can't see it because it's happening online. And the government isn't doing anything about it, so we need public pressure. I won't argue that, but as far as your story goes, well, it's not news. I doubt my editor will let me run with it. Although... You said your friend Samantha made a fake identity and posted things about you that weren't true? Yeah. See, now that could be an interesting angle. A joint interview with a bully and a bullied. Think she'd talk to me? Uh, no, why would she? Oh, lots of people don't want to talk to me, but lots of people do. Tell you what, why don't you give me her number? I'll give her a call, invite her down. She might just go for it. Um, I don't think she'd want to talk about it. Um... Here's her mother's number. Um, her name is Karen Keldone. Samantha may be leaving for school. Why did you do that? I'm sorry. I should have asked you first. You know, she's going to think I'm after her, and I'm not. Honey, it's not a bad idea for Samantha to face the consequences of her actions. Yeah, but not like this. Her mother says Samantha agreed to do it. They'll be here in half an hour. Good morning. Hey. Samantha, you can sit by Taylor. We want you sitting together so we can take a few shots while we talk, okay? All right, Samantha, Taylor told me a pretty wild story that you, her best friend, tricked her into believing you were someone else online. And then as that alternate person, you spread rumors about her in an online community. Is that true? Yes. <clears throat> she didn't think you'd want to admit it. Yeah, why are you doing this? I hate what I did, but I'm not going to pretend I didn't do it. Well, why? You pretended just fine before. Sounds like you're still pretty upset at her. She has every right to still be mad. What I did was horrible. And I've never been more sorry in my entire life. Well, why do it then? 
I had reasons that made sense at the time. I thought I was protecting her from a guy. I was hurt, angry, I don't know, jealous. But the reasons didn't matter once I'd realized I'd hurt her. So what was going on through your mind when you were doing it, the cyberbullying? It's hard to picture myself like that. You know, I, I'd always thought of bullies as people at school who pick on you. But when you do it online, you don't even realize that you're doing it. You can't see the other people, and, and you can do or say anything, and it, it doesn't seem to matter. It doesn't feel real. But it's real when you're the one getting bullied. I know because everyone's turned on me now. And Taylor, I am so sorry that I ever made you feel anything. Wait. Uh, Lindsay and them, they're after you now? I didn't know that. Doesn't matter. I deserve it. No, you don't. the first step for you and Samantha to please let's just go hey Samantha wait but thanks for doing this they, they wouldn't run the story unless you did it too it's fine you know if it's happening to you now they have support groups for that kind of thing and it's actually really been helping me Thanks. I'll think about it. I think that went really well, don't you? I'm ready to go back to school. I could go in, go to class with you, go to lunch with you. I'm gonna be fine. All this group has been saying is how I can't let them have power over me anymore, so that's what I'm gonna do. When did you get all grown up? <sighs> I better go. be coming back today. Yeah, I didn't either. Maybe we can sit together. You really want to? I don't know if we can ever be friends in the same way, but I'm willing to try. I've really missed you. Twins. <laughs> Just ignore her. <laughs> Let's she is. No, I'm not gonna ignore it anymore. <laughs> 
Hey, Lindsay. Yeah, I know you think you're probably being funny, but you should know your words actually hurt. And I Check think you should stop attacking people online. <laughs> Rare. Get her, Lindsay. No, she's right. You guys should stop. You're making everyone around you miserable. Oh, the twins are sticking up for each other. How cute. Yeah, because that's what friends do. Why don't you just stop attacking people on Clicksters? Okay, you're making it so no one wants to go on there anymore. Yeah, you seem to me just like any other bully. Spreading hate wherever you go. I've got to say, the way that you guys need to hurt people, it's like maybe you need to talk to someone, get some help. Face losers. Okay, I've dreamed about something like that only a hundred times. Hope it was good for you, Taylor, because it was awesome for me. Yeah. Well, you finally stood up. I'm, I'm sorry it took so long. I just. You know, things got so intense, and I... It's okay, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I am starving. Let's go get some food. Hey. I'm sorry. It's okay. So you said something this time. You were inspiring. I was impressed. Really? Because I think I'm still shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad you're back, Taylor. Me too. So, could I maybe sit and eat lunch with you? Maybe I can be the one who gets ketchup. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd like that. This is Chris. Yeah, hi, Terry Dunley, down at the paper. Just wanted to tell you that I called Senator Evans to get a comment from him about shooting you down on sponsoring the cyberbully bill. Oh, really? Oh, yes. And he said you misunderstood him. He said his staff is already working on a proposal to make a new law that'll make it illegal to harass minors online in this state. And he's talking to the school board to get their input. That's terrific. 